The purpose of the longbow bridge exercise is to build a rich tone, volume, projection, and bow control. And along with the long bow fingerboard exercise, it's to learn where the limits of tone production are and how to play near them. Now what I mean by that is the long bow bridge exercise, we're gonna play extremely close to the bridge, really one to five millimeters away from each other. And the long bow fingerboard exercise, we're gonna play well above the end of the fingerboard. So we're playing near the absolute edges of the available palette of tone colors on the double bass. So once you learn to play near these edges, everything in between of your palette of colors, the, the sounding point, everything in between on the string is going to be much easier. Now I learned this exercise from Stuart Sankey and it was really the most important tone exercise I ever learned. The rosin has to be perfect. It's critical for this exercise. So I'm going to put a nice fresh layer of rosin on my bow and I'm going to spread a thin layer of rosin on the strings right up to the bridge. So in this exercise we're going to play an up bow and a down bow on each of the four strings. You don't have to go directly from the up bow to the down bow. But as an example, I'm going to do this uh, on the D string. So an up bow on the D string. Okay, that was pretty good. It wasn't perfect. There was a little hitch in there. You really want to try to get the tone absolutely perfect. So I'm going to try a down bow now. scratch in there. I'm going to try it again. All right, that was acceptable. What we really don't want to have is the string to go into Ponticello. Let me give you an example. You know, something like that. Or, worse yet, if the string comes to a dead halt, if it goes like this. And then just stops. That's obviously a fail. By the way, when playing on the open A string, uh, on most basses, the A is rather uncooperative. Because it's near the wolf tone of the bass. So I might suggest, if your bass gives you a little trouble, is to stop the D string right on the note A to give it a sympathetic vibration makes the A string vibrate uh, a little bit more cooperatively. Now, uh, if you want to add an extra challenge, you could try doing these on fingered notes. That gets quite a bit more difficult. So now the longbow fingerboard exercise is just the opposite. Now we're going to be playing with a rather fast bow and way up on the fingerboard. So I need to get a thin layer of rosin up on the fingerboard. So we're going to play eight quarter notes or so uh, on each of the four strings with a fast bow, and you want to try to make the bow changes as clean as possible. So here we go. This, by the way, is the least torturous exercise out of the torturous exercises. vibrating A on the D string to help the open A string vibrate more cleanly. Uh, if you want to add an extra challenge, you could try doing these on fingered notes. That gets quite a bit more difficult. 